Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. Today is Friday, yay, July the 28th, 2000, no, excuse me, the 29th, 2022. And let's just jump right into it. Um, this is General Hospital on a scale of one to 10. I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, maybe, a, yeah, it's an eight for me. All right, so we see Michael Brand, Michael and Dex are talking in the hallway and Brando comes up and Michael starts saying, stay away from me. Why are you always um, trying to follow me? I know your Sonny's hit, um, you work for Sonny or whatever, but you get no brownie points in everything. And so then Dex was like, you know, this is a free hallway. The staircase is free or whatever to you. So, you know, what are you trying to say? And, and so that's the end with them. Dex Lee ends up leaving and Brando actually tells Dex to stay away. So then Michael and um, Brando talking, he said, you know, I don't know why this guy is harassing you. I'm going to tell Sonny. And Michael's like, no, 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 don't tell Sonny. You know, you have enough to worry about trying to put it off about Sasha and everything. I'm not going to hold you long on that. That was pretty much it with that. So then Willow and um, Sasha talk and they she just reassures Sasha that she does not blame her for anything. And they just have a nice little talk where um, Willow feels a lot of relief because I mean, excuse me, Sasha feels a lot of relief because she says, Willow, you know, I've done things to you, even if it's unintentional, I've still done all these awful things. And you always find a way to just forgive me. And Willow is just like, you know, they're friends or whatever. It is what it is, y'all. So then Willow gets her blood drawn by TJ. And she tells him, tell me what it is like that you're afraid of and everything. And then uh, Michael comes in and he says, I thought you were meeting with Brit. And she said, I mean, because TJ, Michael interrupted. So um, she, she said, oh, it was just TJ doing a favor. And Michael didn't really get more into details about what favor he does because he's so busy worried over here about Dex and Sonny. So he didn't even like question her like, why, why are you giving blood and all this kind of stuff? But anyways... Willa, it doesn't even matter because Willa wasn't going to tell him she threw him off. And then Michael gets a um, phone call, like a message from Dex, so he has to leave again. So then we see TJ comes in and he says, why don't you want to tell um, Michael what's going on? Like, why, why are you keeping this a secret? And I said the exact same thing. Like, why are, won't you just go ahead and tell him what's going on with you? Like, I, I don't understand that part of it either. Honestly, I think it's because they've had such because Michael keeps saying over and over again, oh, the other pregnancies are so hard and this one's going to be so easy. And maybe she just doesn't want to burden him with that. But like you, why carry all that on yourself? That's not good for the baby. So then, child, I'm so tired of Sasha. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I'm sick of Sasha. I feel bad that how they're doing her, but she also is getting on my nerves because she won't just get help. She's not going to her appointment. Like, she's not going to make it to her appointment. And then she gives some Brando some kind of BS about, oh, that reporter is here and and yada, yada, yada. And he said, and he just was truthful. He said, Sasha, you're not going to treatment, which we wanted you to do, go to in-house treatment. You don't want to do that. So they're giving you these outhouse therapy sessions, like where you could just go to therapy and everything. And now you're saying you're not going to do that either. And she says, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of y'all trying to control me. He said, well, maybe somebody needs to control you the way you got this marriage spiraling, spiraling out of control. And she was like, Brenda, I can't believe it. And he was like, I didn't mean to say that. She was like, no, you meant to say what you said. But girl, like this man is tired of dealing with that, dealing with this. He said, I'm an addict to Sasha and I know you need help. I mean, it, I, I don't see, I'm going to be honest with y'all. People who have family members in their lives that, you know, have substance abuse issues and everything they have to be so compassionate i understand why there's a meeting for the people who have to you know deal with that emotionally because it's it, just looking at this is frustrating wanting someone to get help and they just they they're not there yet and sasha is simply not there yet it doesn't matter how much brando loves her it doesn't matter how much he talks to her it doesn't matter what he does She's not there yet, and she doesn't want anyone to be concerned about her. So it's just like, what is he supposed to do? And then she gets a text from her homegirl, the ones that be giving her drugs and stuff, saying, want to meet up tonight and party or something. And she's like, yes, I'll meet you anywhere. And I said, girl, why did you get married to this man? Why did you get married to this man? You were high as a kite when you got married, though. And even though she told Brenda she wasn't, yes, she was. We saw her popping them pills at that cabin. Anyways... 
Brick and Sonny talk, y'all. And he tells um, Sonny that the West Coast has calmed down. And Sonny said, I knew that sending that message by Charlie's and Brick said, I don't think it was that. No, Sonny, it was not. Jennifer Smith still coming for you, but she in um, prison right now. <laughs> she got locked up because of Valentine. They still coming for y'all. Um, but anyways, he starts telling him about Dex and everything. So then Dex meets Sonny and Brick. And when he meets Brick, he talks about, you know, he saw cops and it was Sonny's son. And Sonny was like, what do you mean you saw cops? When you see cops and stuff, you make yourself scared. You don't talk to him. He was like, no, 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 that's what I did. Anyways, y'all, Brick is suspicious of Dex. He was like, mm -mm, I don't like him. He too arrogant. He too full of himself. He too eager. He, I, I don't know. He said, you were a vet. I was a vet. And, but Brick tells, um, I'm sorry. I'm skipping my butt ahead. Brick uh, tells Dex, you were a vet. I was a vet too, you know, so they have something in common. Anyways, Michael, Dex texts Michael and he meets up with him. And he was like, what's up? And he says, um, I think Brick is going to investigate me and, 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 Michael says, well, that actually is a good thing. He said, thanks for the heads up, but that's a good thing. That means Sonny is wanting to draw you closer in. Now, Brick told Sonny he doesn't think Dex is the right one for this, but Sonny is, Sonny is blind. Like, what? Uh, anyways, Sonny is blind to the fact that Dex is too eager. Everything, everyone is warning Sonny against. He's blind to that fact. But Dex said he's going to look into him, and Sonny says, let's give him a trial by fire. And then, child, we go over here to this trial. So Diane calls Spencer to the stand and he does what he's supposed to do. And he does what he's supposed to do um, in regards to letting Diane know that, you know, he thinks that Trina is innocent and that she, you know, she couldn't have had anything to, to, to do with this and that um, there's a doubt. He thinks Esme did it. So he does what he's supposed to do. But then the DA um, because he tells them that Trina, he was with Trina when, um, the email went out and everything. And he just tells them that he just thinks that she's, she's innocent and, you know, they've been friends. Um, and she kept the secret about him being out. So it is exposed that he was, um, he, he bribed somebody to get out on prison so that he could go visit Courtney's on the anniversary of her death. And so then the DA um, sends an email and said, I just sent y'all an email. I had it timed and all that kind of stuff. And the um, Diane was like, that, that does not mean that that's what that would, that there's no proof that the email was timed. And it wasn't because Esme sat in that class and let it go off. So it was not. And also, why are they not mentioning the fact that even if she had it timed, how did they know that they were going to be using the projector at that time? You know what I mean? It's like you could. Anyways, they're, they've done a recess and Taggart. And OK, so while Spencer was um, doing all of this, Taggart and, and Portia was like, what is he going to do? Is he going to defend Trina? And Rory and Joss was like, I don't know what's going on. And Joss said, I don't know what's going on either. But anyways, after Spencer gets done defending Trina and everything, he gets off the stand and he goes up to Trina and he says, she says, you risked your freedom for me, like, and, and, and everything. And he was like, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. You know, he he thought it was going to be something that would get her off. And, she, you know, she just thanks him. And then um, Portia and Taggart tell Trina, why didn't you say Spencer was your alibi? She said she was hoping that Curtis would come with a Hail Mary and it wouldn't come to that. I said, where is Curtis? This trial is almost over. And so then Josh talks to Spencer and she said, I knew you, you weren't going to be that bad, even though you took you to the last minute. And I'm like, no, it really didn't. Like he been, uh, no, I will say this. It did take him to the last minute to get Esme and get the proof, but he has been working on this since Trina got arrested, which is more than I can say for the adults who were doing this. Yeah. And then, um, and then uh, Nicholas goes up to Spencer and he tells him, I really need to talk to you because Nicholas is scared as crap because he know his world is O-V-A. Um, so then, and then, child, we go to Ava and Ez, man. I was ready for this. Uh, you know, I was ready for this. But then Ez may start reading Ava. I said, I, 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 
what's happening here? As my start doing all this research and telling Ava about all this stuff, like you slept, because Ava was like, so you slept with the father. And she said, like, you slept with Sonny after being with Morgan. I said, oh, mm, mm, crack face. And then, so Ava, Esme was just really reading Ava. And Ava said, how do you know all this information? And Esme, like, people talk. And Ava said, no. She said, all the things, she said, you're a psychopath. She said, I saw um, Spencer's eyes when you burned up my car. He was terrified. There was fear in his eyes. He didn't know you was going to go that far. He was talking about doing childish pranks. He said, and when you put the, my daughter's badge beside it, beside it and everything, he didn't realize, he, re he started to realize she's crazy. You're crazy. She said, and you enjoy doing that just like you enjoy making that film of uh Cameron and Joss and, and using it against them and enjoy and and enjoyed um setting up Trina she said because you're a psychopath Nick Spencer is not like that she was like yeah he's entitled he's arrogant you know and all that but he's not a sociopath and she said um and everything you've done to me, it feels very personal. Why? And Esmond was like, I just, I just like to know who I'm dealing with and everything like that. No, girl, it is, it's personal, Ava. Stay on that. And Ava said, No, nah, mm -mm, I'm not gonna fall for that. It, it's personal. She was like, I had you figured out from the very beginning. And I said, Ava, yes, stay on Esme, and this is being personal. And then Esme was like, I've got to get out of here. And so she grabs the letter out of. Ava's um Ava grabs the letter out of Esme's suitcase and Esme snatches it back. That's mine. And I said, and Ava said, Oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. You need to read what's in that, ma'am. And so then um she tells Esme, you're gonna go to that court because Esme says, I'm leaving town. And she said, Oh, no, you're not. You're gonna go to that courthouse and you're gonna exonerate Trina. And she said, Why would I do that? Um, I'm not gonna be a fugitive for the rest of my life or whatever. And Ava said, Oh, you you must understood me. I'm not telling you. I'm not. You don't have a choice. I'm not telling you um, that. I because Ava don't care about that. She said, I'm telling you that if you don't go to that courthouse and exonerate Trina, they're gonna find you, but you're not gonna be breathed. And I said. Uh, excuse me oh this come on Ava Jerome because you lay for when it first started you was letting Esme get the best of you because she was really hurt about Nicholas truth be told and um Esme was all he came running to me because you emasculated him and stuff I said oh please oh please Nicholas Nicholas was the one who brought Esme in when he shouldn't have in the first play. He did all this to himself. And y'all going to stop blaming Ava and Esme blaming Ava for it. Nicholas is blaming Esme. No, at the end of the day, y'all two decided to do that with each other. But Ava was like, you seduced him or whatever, even though she told Nicholas, you are an idiot. You did this on your own. But y'all, that was General Hospital today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And um, I will, y'all, it's the weekend. Have a blessed, safe weekend. And I will see you Monday for a new month of soaps and for a new week of soaps. All right, bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.